Hans, a Lego Star Wars model designer, and I'm Paul, a Lego graphic designer, yeah, and together we worked on our latest Lego Star Wars Collector Series model, Assault on Hoth. Over the years we had a couple of Lego Star Wars sets playing on Hoth, but this is the first time you get all together in one big set. The first line of defense is the trenches with all the guns. The gun turret, there's room to place a minifigure on the inside. It also has a shooting function. The web blaster has our brand new stat shooter. Then we have another gun turret in front of the big blast doors, which can also open and close. We have a lookout here. Actually, we don't see this lookout in the movie, but it's a detail we took from the Rebel base on Yavin. They have this kind of lookouts, and so we designers thought it would be a good addition for this host set, even though it might, it's maybe a, bit, a little bit cold up here. Inside the base we have a control room featuring a tactical display and more storage space for extra ammo for the spring-loaded shooters. And a stable for the town town and a little service crane. There's also the famous power generator. Here's our Rebel Snowspeeder with room for two pilots and a weapon between the seats. It also has air brakes and spring-loaded shooters on the underside. Just like in the movie, the Iron Cannon fires two shots in rapid succession. Inside is the control room with Torrent Fire, where she operates the Iron Cannon. We also included the Wampa Lair, where Luke Skywalker gets captured by the Wampa and finally frees himself by using his lightsaber. Uh, there's also a small personal transport vehicle, which uh, appears for the first time in any LEGO Star Wars sets. On the Imperial side, we have the snow version of the speeder bike. The new Imperial e web Blaster also has a shooting function, with more extra ammo in this box. Okay, Paul, can you tell us something about the graphic design on this set and maybe about the new minifigures? Sure, Hans. Uh, actually, we get some already existing figures, but uh, besides that, we get some really exciting new ones and uh, some that happen for the first time in LEGO form. Um, starting with uh, the Snow Speeder, we get uh, Wedge Antilles and uh, Rogue Leader and Wes Jensen. They both get these really cool updated helmets to protect them in their fight against the evil empire. Of course we get some stickers for the snow speeder. Uh, we get a really nice uh, snow trooper here. Um, of course the rebels uh, in the trenches have these uh, really cool graphics here. Uh, we get uh, three of them. We have a Wampa uh, a new deco for the um, rebels, the ones that uh, stay in the echo base. Uh, Luke is getting some uh, updated torso and as well uh, an updated uh, head with a battle damaged version uh, from his encounter with the uh, Wampa. And of course, uh, the one in charge with the iron cannon, it's Torin Far. In his uh, way to rescue Luke, Han Solo is getting an updated torso and legs. In the control room, we get K-3PO figure and also a rebel officer. Also on the display, there's some really nice uh, stickers. So this is our Assault on Hoth, where you can get pretty much all the cool stuff that is on Hoth in one big set. I hope you will have as much fun building it as I had designing it. Yeah, happy building, guys. Yeah, happy building. <laughs>